Um, I was named by my father. Uh, he was a jazz musician and an organizer, activist, and um, Naima, he got from one of his favorite songs, Naima, it's a John Coltrane song. And I think the story goes is Naima was perhaps John Coltrane's first wife, um, and she sort of helped him through an addiction. And, and, and in some ways I always found that funny because my dad, uh, he suffers from alcoholism. And I kind of felt like perhaps, and I don't know for sure, but maybe the reason why he named me was sort of in hopes that starting a family um, would kind of save him from his drug abuse. All right, we're good. Um, I don't really have any complaints about my name. I think it's, it's usually a really good conversation starter. Uh, people are usually they either like completely know where it's from and especially people in his generation, I've had a lot of teachers who are like, oh, John Coltrane, right? And I think it gives them an immediate access point to kind of makes them familiar with me even though they don't know me. They just kind of have a good um, idea and experience with the, the song, which is very beautiful. And um, I think any association to like music and a person or a certain jazz era and a person is it's not a bad thing at all. I find it interesting that people from different cultures will uh, tell me, because I don't tell them that I know, and I don't, or I tell them, well, I've, I've heard of multiple um, explanations or like origin stories, but why don't you tell me what, what you know? Because uh, I kind of like, I like the surprise or I like that it, it enables us to talk um, and gives me a sense of where they're from or their associations with it. So sometimes I've gotten, um, oh, it's Hebrew and it means pleasant spirit um, or it's Muslim and it means like a gift uh, or comfort or delicate. And usually it, it, it's always a, a positive association and definition. And um, I think it, in a weird way, it does make people feel uh, close to me. I guess sometimes in a slight way, it gives me a clue that perhaps this person hasn't met a lot of people like me or, and by people like me, I mean, you know, black and Puerto Rican or someone who is Muslim or, uh, or the person's not taking enough time to learn how to say someone's name, which is really dear and important because it's like how you identify. Um, and I think having a name like Naima that's often mispronounced or misheard or miswritten on a coffee cup um, makes me very vigilant about like hearing someone's name when they tell me and, and like asking them to correct me if I say it wrong or like, you know. Um, I have met people weirdly who like just resign and, and let people mispronounce their name and I always find that interesting, um, that amb ambivalence or that I guess just being okay with people not getting you right in a sense. I really like that I have Naima Ramos Chapman um, because well, my last name is, is a compound name. It's my mother's maiden name and my father. And even though they were together when they made me and they broke up later, uh, I always found it like empowering that my mother decided to keep, to have her children retain her name. Um, so that she was a part of the process and not giving someone a child. I don't come from a family of artists. You know, my dad was a jazz musician, but I don't, I don't really count him because he wasn't around enough to like even have conversations about how to make that a part of like living my life. But I think having a name that derives from art um, weirdly made it kind of okay for me to to like investigate my artistic capabilities and um, and you know currently I'm making films and I think you know I, I dance I, I act and it's interesting that that name like I've had people play it on the piano for me and and artists especially I, th I think are drawn to the name because of of the story that it tells and 
you know, art is just really like elaborate storytelling in the first place. And it, it definitely, I think, as I said before, like the association people have with it, especially if they're into jazz and into music and into art, they kind of already have a weird assumption that like you're interesting or like you have something to offer because you come from a place that where art was important or that composing was important or you know art art in general was just relevant to making life you know because here you are you were made and then the name that your family gave you is a song 